By September 30th, 1888, Jack the Ripper had already struck twice in Whitechapel, and that night he or she took two more lives. The first was a 44-year-old woman named Elizabeth Stride. She was last seen around 12.45 a.m. wrestling with a man in a yard off Burner Street, referred to as Dutfield's Yard. Only minutes later, a man came across her body and quickly raised the alarm. Stride had suffered a single deep wound of the throat six inches long. The lack of mutilation suggests that her attacker had been interrupted and left unsatisfied. 46-year-old Catherine Eddowes had just been released from the drunk tank around 1 a.m. She was last seen talking to a man wearing a gray jacket and a gray peaked cap. Then at 1.45 a.m., her body was found in a corner of Mitre Square. Her face and throat had been slashed violently with two triangles cut into her cheeks. Like Chapman, her intestines had been cut out and placed by her right shoulder. But even more horrific, her left kidney had been removed and taken from the scene. I think we all know where that kidney ended up.